remember what the haters talking about. Mike Tyson is ready to pay $10 million to any guy who marries his daughter. That is the meme comedian Michael Blackson posted on his Instagram page with the caption, where she at? I'll tear her ass up, then go shopping. He followed that up, as if that wasn't enough, with a DM to Mike Tyson. I'll let y'all check out the DM. Drop your comments and I'll come back with mine. You know, the very thing that I love about social media is the thing that I hate. The ability to close the gap in the degree of separation department. It's cool as hell to be able to reach out to your favorite celebrities. On the other hand, when your favorite celebrities become targeted, by trolls who are sometimes celebrities themselves. That's a problem. Michael Blackston, I think he's a funny guy, but sometimes I think he goes too far to get the joke. And in this case, I know he went too far. To DM that man and speak of his daughter in that manner that is very disrespectful. And, you know, in these type of situations, ass whoopings are required. Michael Blackson would have never said what he said to Tyson in his DM in person. This is the part, this is one of the parts that I hate about social media because it allows cowards to feel brave. Michael Blackson would never, ever approach Mike Tyson and say something like that. Just like all these other trolls be talking tough and acting rough, they know damn well they wouldn't say 99.9% .9 of the stuff that they say if they didn't feel that they were at a safe distance. That's the thing, social media is the new telephone. Back in the day, you remember how people used to get on the phone and talk all tough? Yeah, I'll, yeah well, come do it then. Well, you, you, you. All that old phone warriors, a phone warrior. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then hang up the phone. Every now and then, you catch up that fool and then beat the brakes off of him. Social media has made it to where as people who you don't even know can talk down and troll and oftentimes with impunity. But every now and then they get caught up and they get the brakes beat off them sometimes they end up taking dirt naps. Michael Blackson, way out of pocket on this one. I like Tyson. Tyson a straight up dude. At least you're gonna always know where you stand with Mike Tyson. And 
he's not one of those dudes to be played with. I think sometimes when people see somebody being jolly and laughing, you know, they see your teeth, they take it for weakness. And, you know, Mike is one of those dudes that he enjoy a good joke just like anybody else. But Mike would do something bad to you. And Michael Blackson better hope that he never finds out. Mike said, if I find out who created that meme, I'm going to get him. And you better hope that it's not you who created it. If I was in Mike's shoes, I would fall back. I wouldn't make any threats because anything go down, they're going to use it against you. So that's why you won't see me making threats on social media. Uh, if it go down, it go down. But I'm not going to give them the bullets. They already got the gun. I'm not going to give them the bullets to put in the gun to shoot me. The thing about Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson is a good guy who has had some bad experiences but has worked diligently to repair his reputation over the last several years. But don't get it twisted. Mike Tyson is still Mike Tyson. Very capable of beating the brakes off you. Now, Michael Blackson, I know you're a funny man. I know you're a comedian. That's what you do. Go all out to get the joke. But let me tell you something. Everybody ain't playing. There are some celebrities who will get at you. Patch it up, homie. I would hate to see you get hurt. Patch it up. And hope like hell you see Mike Tyson before Mike Tyson sees you. No more talk. What the haters talking about?